Hi, my name is Isabella Green. Today, I would like to address the question, do you need a guru in this day and time where we can reach and find different yogic techniques, breathwork techniques on the internet or through different practitioners who teach them. We can learn them in workshops. We can learn them at, the fe at festivals. And then, do you need a guru to actually practice? So here is what I think. Traditionally, um, it was believed that, yes, you do need a guru to prepare you, to walk you slowly to your initiation into the practice, to teach you um, various uh, philosophies in between. And that was a, um, the traditional yogic approach. We had the same approach with the mystical arts too. You had to have someone initiate you. Uh, the mystical schools were very secretive. Uh, the practices were not shared. Nowadays, people are coming into their abilities left and right, and no one is really seeking out a mystical school to uh, learn all of the secrets here, but the things came out into the open nowadays. And the same, I think, the same is happening very much with the yogic practices and the yogic traditions. A lot of questions about Kriya Yoga. Um, can I just practice Kriya Yoga uh, by myself without a guru walking me through different steps? I would say that, yes, you can, except if you are a kind of person who is prone to freaking out, <laughs> then you need a guru. Um, the main concern with kundalini yoga practices or waking up your kundalini energy is that you might freak out. If you're prone to freaking out in uh, your everyday life, if you're, if you're the kind of a person who wants to know every little detail about everything, you need a guru. If you are someone who can handle yourself, and know that when you wake up your kundalini through breath work or other yogic practices, it's not going to be gentle. It's going to rock and roll your life. It's going to uh, feel really intense in your physical body. And if you can handle yourself without freaking out, there you go. If you can handle coming into your own abilities through waking up your kundalini energy or having an out-of-body experience, through waking up your kundalini energy. You don't need a guru because you are able to sustain your own sanity, so to speak, sustain yourself within the common sense kind of behavior. But there are many of those who are who fidget about every little detail. Oh, my leg shook. What does that mean? Oh, I, had, I felt the pressure on top of my head. What does that mean? Why is that happening? You need a guru. You need someone who is going to be explaining every little detail to you because your mind is too obsessed with those details. I personally learned the Tantra Kriya Kundalini Pranayama, the uh, um, Cosmic Cobra Breath, at a workshop. Dr. Joe Dispenza taught one of the uh, variations of that practice and he did not go into any details except the scientific explanation, the mechanical explanation of what happens in the body when you do this practice. And if you're interested in, in knowing these scientific details, then by all means go ahead uh, and sign up for his workshops or research his material. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's really down to earth. But there was no holding hand uh, afterwards. There was no you know, explaining that your legs are going to shake or you're going to sweat or you're going to have a rapid heartbeat or whatever. None of that. Um, I learned the breath work and I started doing it and I've been doing it for, well, that was 2010. So for all these years since 2010 and nothing happened to me nothing bad happened to me only the good things happened to me i've been doing this on my own for all these years i started doing the nighttime meditations nothing bad occurred i have actually my life has turned into an entirely different experience my abilities came came online again and 
uh, my health improved, everything improved. So if you are steady and stable in your mind, you know that you're not going to freak out when you have that explosion in your head, when, you, when your kundalini energy finally moves up and explodes and you feel like you're having a um, hundred orgasms in your brain and you're not going to freak out about it. Or if it moved and you left the body and you're face down, blocked out, um, and wake, wake up four hours later thinking that was 20 minutes. If you're not going to be freaking out about these things, you do not need a guru. You can do this on, on your own and you will be better off, in my opinion, because you can move forward faster with the traditional yogic approach they walk you very slowly from one initiation to the next and uh, with a lot of studying of the scriptures in between that you don't really need uh, in my personal opinion unless this is your path or this is something that you're teaching or learning for a reason uh, but to improve your life, to, to be able to create an out-of-body experience, to attain the freedom that this, uh, these practices, the Kriya Yoga, Kundalini Yoga practices, Raja Yoga practices, give you, you do not need a guru in the present day and time. That is my personal opinion. And I wish you to experience the most uh, joyful expansion and exploration keep the sense of awe keep the sense of curiosity and remember that the main goal of these practices is liberation the freedom of your soul from the cycle of reincarnation from the maya or the um, density of the earth experience in the scriptures, in the Vedic scriptures, and I did not read the Vedic scriptures, I heard that from a different teacher um, who, who teaches the Vedic scriptures. So, ch in chapter 6 of the Vedas, Krishna says, steady your spine, steady your neck, bring your attention to your third eye, balance your breath, and be free. And that is what the final goal of your practice is i wish for all of you to find this freedom i have two workshops in-person workshops in march of 2024 what one of the sedona ascension retreat use code exiting reincarnation that's the name of my workshop to uh, receive 10 percent off of your event pass and then at Sedona Yoga Festival, March 14th through 17th, Samadhi, Breath, Reincarnation, when I will focus more on the yogic essence, on these traditional old school yogic practices that are a part of what I teach. And I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste.